Hello everyone, I'm Nina Malak, this is Hany Kazimzadeh, David Larson. We are Team for Team and our project is a cure box design for industrial mixers. The objective was to design a 90 degree angle gearbox reducer. The gearbox must transmit 4 horsepower. The input speed is 600 RPM and the output speed is 30 RPM. The input and the output shafts must rotate in the same direction. The gearbox design must be efficient and cost effective. For our applications, our gearbox design will be very good for industrial business, for example, mixer for food process as well as mixer for cement because it has low RPM and a higher torque output. What is a gearbox? A gearbox is defined as metal casing in which a train of gear is sealed. It's used to transmit high power with high efficiency. It's also used to decrease speed and increase torque. For our first design, we have three gear sets, starting with the 5 to 1 spur, a 2 to 1 bevel, and then ending with the 2 to 1 spur. Now, the problem with this design is that we have a humongous 10 inch gear at the beginning. This results in a larger gear size, wasted space, and it's just not an efficient gearbox design. Also the shorter life because the 10 inch gear is cast iron. For our proposed design, we decided to add a fourth gear set to keep the gear sizes relatively small and closer to the same size. This minimizes empty space inside the gearbox and makes it more compact. It would be more expensive, but again, the gearbox is smaller. It would have five shafts. The gear sets will start with a two to one bevel going 2.5 to one spur another 2.1 spur, and then ending with another 2.1 spur. The largest gear size in this box is 5 inches, going from 10 inches down to 5 inches, much better. We use the AGMA procedure to do our gear selection. We try to select the smallest gears possible, and we calculate the bending stress on the contact stresses of all the gears. The first gear set was bevel gears, the rest were spur. All the gears have a factor of safety above one, so none of them will fail. As for shaft analysis, our, our gearbox have five shafts. The first thing we did is we uh, calculated the maximum shear stress and the maximum bending stress using the shear moment diagram. And then we used the Van Mises stress to calculate the factor of safety for each shaft. And here in the table shows the minimum diameter for each of the shaft, shaft one through five. For bearing analysis, uh, we took the resultant force on each side of each shaft and we calculated the, the forces and then we calculated the C tens and we came up with these numbers and we chose the bearings based on C ten numbers and we chose Temkin catalogs in order to do that. For cost analysis, uh, we put them in sections, as you can see, gear section, shafts, bearings, and casing of the gearbox. And the total cost was $2,030. For gearbox maintenance, we had to consider lubrications, the drain plug, and reading valve of the gearbox.